Hey everybody, this is Robin. I'm with Mamaw's Kitchen. Everybody always says, so, are you Mamaw? And I say, oh, we all have a little Mamaw right here. This is Mamaw's Kitchen. So today, after our two year anniversary mark, we kind of did a little few changes. Uh, we had listened to everybody on what they like to eat, what is most often asked for to have here at Mamaw's Kitchen, and even when we cook things and take it to your office or to your family reunion or whatever you request that you would like to have good home cooked in an iron skillet in a Dutch oven with love from Mama. So I have some things here this morning. This is Tuesday, which means it's cooking day. Cooking day at Mama's. So what are we gonna start offering at Mama's? Uh, the first thing we'd like to let you know is we have a high tunnel now, so we cook so we cook all of our vegetables from the high tunnel. <laughs> and in our high tunnel, we still have half runner green beans. Half runner green beans cooked in an iron skillet. You don't want to know what we cook them with because you'll say, oh, I'm on a diet. But, you know, that's just the way it is at Mamaw's. It's cooked with that good old fat back and good old bacon grease and it's yummy. All right, the next thing we have is, don't look at this yet, because this is dessert. We have good corn pudding. Corn pudding came from the garden. We cook it in an iron skillet. This is what she looks like. If you've never tried corn pudding, you need to come try Mamaw's. Mamaw's has the best corn pudding. What's some of our potato choices? We have fried taters. If you'll notice, we do not slap all the onions on them. That is the most requested, but we cook them in, once again, that good old Mamaw secret recipe for fried taters, special seasonings, and an iron skillet. Hungry yet? Have you ever tasted Mamaw's coleslaw? And you say, oh no, I like this coleslaw, that coleslaw, that. All right, we do not purchase the lettuce, I'm sorry, the cabbage pre-made. We hand cut every bit of our lettuce and we hand cut our carrots, and then we make our own coleslaw dressing. We know it tastes good because we all taste test it first to make sure she tastes good because we don't want something going in you that we haven't eaten first. All right, next thing, meatloaf. Besides, this is one of the two main meats that we have been requested at Mamaw's Kitchen. And, and you know, we must make good meatloaf. Uh, it does not have green peppers or onions in it. That's the first question I get asked. No, it does not. It's cooked in an iron skillet. It's made with special seasonings. We put a little ketchup on top. Yum, 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 yum. I can make a loaf and send it home family of four. I can bake it by the slice for you to take home with some vegetables for your supper. You want to get out of the house? Bring the family to Mamaw's. Come out here and sit with me, and I'll wait on you, hand and foot, like your Mamaw did. All right? This is another good surprise. The next surprise. Guess what? We have squash from the garden. Cooked in a cast iron skillet. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Squash. I see a little cheese, a little breading on top. Oh, my goodness. If you say, oh, I don't like squash, well, maybe you should come give us a try. Maybe this is good squash, you know? I think it is. We grew it. And guess what? Did I tell you that I was a city girl? I was a city girl, moved to the country. Now I have vegetable garden. I have lots of lawn to mow. I have a kitchen to run. What's a city girl supposed to do? Let's go to the next number one requested meat so far. Now you can chew me wrong by telling me, no, I like fried chicken. If you like fried chicken, come here and order a lot of fried chicken and we'll put, we'll say that fried chicken's number one. Right now, this is the number one requested meat at Mammoth. This is roast beef, beef that uh, was purchased locally. And we cook three different choices of your beef. I cook it in a good old sauce. Do you see this pan right here? You know where this pan came from? This came from my mama. Lena Mae Bowles. All right, so all the family's going, oh my gosh, is that where Mamaw's dish went to? Yes, Mamaw's dish came to me. Funny story. My mother said, I don't need this dish anymore. I don't cook like this. 
Well, before I came to the farm, I was like, well, I don't cook like this no more. Who am I gonna cook for? So I took the dish, because mother wanted me to have something for Mamma, so I did. And I, lo and behold, guess what? This is what I cook my roast beef in, just like Mamma cooks it in. Number one requested meat, meatloaf. Number two requested meat here. We have fried chicken, fried pork chops. I've got a young lady that comes here and all she wants is own fried pork chops. You know why? Bless her heart, she can't chew it very hard. She says, I make the best pork chops. I believe her. I have a gentleman that comes and sees me almost every Saturday. Thank you very much. And he orders my fried pork chops and says, says it's one of the best. So if you don't think that I'm telling, come and test me out. See if I've got the best fried pork chop. Let's go on to some more items. All right, guess what? We do make our own biscuits here at Mamaw's. So when you come here, you have a choice of cornbread, hoe cake, or fresh biscuits right here. We, this is, this we made is our skillet. We cook the biscuits in. Nothing else, just the biscuits. How about that? We also make our own ranch dressing here at Mamaw's. We eat it, we love it, we sell it. We sell it in the small pints and we sell it in the quart size. Come talk to me about, I'll give you a taste test. It's good. The next thing we make, ah, look at here, hand it off screen, how about that? Just like they do in the movies. Cornbread, cornbread cooked in a skillet. That is your serving size. I'll slap a little butter on it, that's good. It's not sweet cornbread, it's a good cornbread. All right, I'm gonna set this over here. Don't want you to forget to look at it. Next thing we do, guess what? People say, now, is that real mashed potatoes? Let me tell you what, Beck, is that real mashed potatoes? Because Beck helps me cut them up and mash them and peel them. And we put lots of milk and butter and a little couple secret things in it. And it's yum, 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 yum. So mashed potatoes and fried taters. We've already made our hash brown casserole. That's your three potato choices. Then you have biscuits, cornbread, and hoe cake. If you want a bun, we sell six ounce hand padded, cook in an iron skillet hamburgers. Put cheese on it, cheeseburger. Put bacon on it, bacon cheeseburger. If you don't want the bun, I'll make you a hamburger steak. We'll take mushrooms, a little brown gravy, mix it all up good, pour it over top. Then you can order some mashed potatoes with it. Or maybe you want to try hash brown casserole. Your choice. Come and get some vegetables. We have occasionally, well, our corn will come in. We're trying to run corn. Uh, it is um, silver queen corn. We're going to run it through the high tunnel so we can grow it for the winter, this fall. Um, squash, zucchinis coming up. Um, and sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is another video, so watch for that. We've already got sweet potatoes going. We'll be making some sweet potato pies. Have you not had sweet potato pie? It's a lot better, in my opinion, than pumpkin pie. Maybe we should have a debate. Pumpkin, sweet potato pie. Last but not least, our very new special dessert. This is pumpkin pecan glaze bunt cake. Look at that. You all seen the video the other day of the drizzling of it? That's it. This is a whole cake. I will sell you this cake, 12 bucks. You want me to order one? Order you some. You got a thing coming up at church? You got a, what's that, bunko? You got a game with the girls? You need something sweet? This is it. If you don't like that, fried apple pies. I've got fried apple pies the size of my hand. If you didn't catch the video of the day, we're gonna do a new video and show you about fried apple pies. Fried apple pies are $4 a piece, or you can order four for 12, that's like one free, or you can order 20 and you get eight. Now how's that? All right, last but not least, we're gonna have one more item to our desserts. These are what they call uh, no-bakes. These are peanut butter oatmeal. We've done chocolate, not always my favorite, but I'll tell you what, this is Beck's favorite. We have a very good friend who makes, in my opinion, the best peanut butter, oatmeal, no-bake cookies. Um, she kind of gyps us all out because she gives him his own container of 
peanut butter oatmeal, no bags. <clears throat> I'm not even allowed to cheat in it. So if you want your own container of peanut butter oatmeal, no bakes, you just let me know. I'll talk to the secret uh, container lady and see if we can get you some no bakes to take home with you. All right, today is Tuesday. Happy day. Thank you for listening and you just uh, come and see us at Mamaw's Kitchen at Rock and Bee Horse and Carriage. You will know where we're at because we have two concrete white horses out front with black tack on it. Pull on the drive. Don't be shy. Drive in like you own it. See you later. Bye.